Have you ever been looking for a budget-friendly gun that is extremely cheap but is going to perform like a monster, like any other guy's $300 gun? Well, I've got the solution for you. It's the review on the G&G Combat Machine blowback version. Now, this gun is going to be running you around $150 to $170 on most websites or local stores, which every single website has one, so you won't have to worry about this. Now, let's get on to the externals of the review. The gun is completely externally made out of polymer, but it is G&G's fantastic polymer that will not break. Honestly, there are uh, countless amounts of videos online of people dropping this gun from a good 15 feet and it not cracking. This will not break on you unless you literally whip at a tree like countless times. Besides that, you've got a rail right here, which the gun does not come with this rail system. Let me add because this is a aftermarket metal rail system. Either it's going to come with a handguard or maybe a plastic rail system similar to this with a front sight which has been sawed off because this is a sump. This is one of our other players guns. So anyways, it will come with a polymer crane stock that will house your battery because it is wired to the rear. You can fit uh, lipos, nunchucks, any of that sort. You're going to get a plastic six position buffer tube which is very nice. You can get your Magpul stocks or whatever you want on here. Which is also a very cool inclusion that I always liked on these combat machines were the attachment of sling points on this side, which you can use one point slings easily, and also you can always go with two point slings with the sling up here. They will hold, I believe, I want to say this is metal, and I know this is metal. I want to say that the, the sling points are metal, but I am not 100% sure. I know that this one is metal, but this one on the rear may not, but I would trust them. You'd be welcome to put your slings on the gun. Now, there is a functioning bolt in the rear. It's not ambidextrous, but opens up the G&G green hop-up. And, of course, it has the metallic uh, blowback mechanism that when you shoot the gun, you will see blowback. And which is cool because you know it's always nice to have feedback from your guns. I've always liked that. There is no recoil, might I add, but because there's no recoil, it's not taking away any stress on the battery. So you will not have to worry about this maybe prematurely dying on you. Now, it, the outer barrel is plastic, but it is threaded right here, so you can attach your suppressors. Only a problem about the outer barrel is that the um front sight is cast onto it because it is cast plastic. So either you're going to have to get a completely new outer barrel or you're going to have to do what my buddy did right here and saw it off. These base guns, uh, they're $150 so you're going to have a lot of room to make upgrades to them because they are, because this gun is completely version 2 compatible which there are countless amounts of parts. I would recommend probably magic box parts because I have heard very good things about them but you can always you know, just go along with whatever your heart desires. Now also, there is an ergonomic pistol grip right here that is texturized and very comfy to shoot with when you are aiming. There is no, you know, there won't be fatigue on your hand from long uh, use of it. But, you know, there's the mag release right here. The mag will drop out, but it's not like a fast drop depending on the mag. So, and on top of the mag situation, the magwell will fit most Tokyo Marui compatible magazines. The only ones that I can say that have had a problem are these VFC high caps, which will fall out eventually if you, like, put too much wear on them. But even right now, they aren't coming out, which is actually really nice. Now, on this side are, is the fire selector and trade marks which is engraved safe semi and auto which is always nice to have engravings but then there are laser engravings for GNG &G and how it says it is a GNG &G combat machine EEG which is always nice on $150 gun to have some sort of trades on the actual gun to end off really the features of this gun there is a spring release right here I know that the new combat machines have the spring release, release, I'm not sure about the old ones, they possibly might, but what happens is after you're done with the game, 
maybe your uh, spring is all tensioned up and that can, after a while, destroy your gun. So always, you know, after a game, release the spring and you will prolong the longevity of your AEG. Now, internally, there's not much to say, to be honest. It is a version 2 gearbox that will uh, last you a very long time. It's made out of metal, most likely pop metal, maybe some aluminum parts, but they will hold up on you for at least two years, I'd say, and then maybe you will start seeing some maybe uh, gearbox shell cracking, which happened to my old combat machine a few years ago. But there is the famous G&G hop-up, which you can see, it's called the green nub, but you can't see the actual nub, but G&G's hop-up is very famous for being probably the second best hop-up out there right next to Marui's, and maybe if you want to count real swords, but you're getting a great hop-up bucking, a great internals and great externals for $150 with blowback and very compatible with any mag and very compatible with any part. I think that's a win. Now, this is not going to be like our traditional reviews. Honestly, if you want, this is the gun to get if you want to get into airsoft. M4s are great, they are versatile, but they might break on you in a few years because the version 2 gearbox is also not that sturdy. Like, that's why I prefer AKs, but that's a whole entire different video. Anyways, $150 it is not that expensive. I mean, don't go for the $100 Lancer Tactical M4 because, yes, it's $100, but it will break externally because my buddy had his uh, Lancer Tactical M4 break on him a month into having it because the externals are that shitty. I, ABS plastic does not work for external guns. That's why most of Marui's early EEGs are not used right now because of how externally... Uh, newer guns are just so vastly superior to using AB or to using more durable materials than ABS plastic, which most of the Japanese companies use. Anyways, there's going to be a shooting test uh, coming up, and then we're going to get on to the final thoughts of this rifle. Hey guys, here's a shooting test. I'm using .28 Grant BBs. Gun shoots about 380 FPS. This is about 100 feet away. Yeah. Hit, 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 hit. Alright, now we're gonna move on to the 150 feet, which is a birdhouse just behind the other one. Hit, 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 hit. Yes. And that is the shooting test for the G and G combat machine pneumatic blowback edition. All right, now we're going to go over the pros and cons of the GNG combat machine. Now, as you can see, this gun is very accurate. It will be performing like any other VFC, to be honest. It might not have the motor, it might not have the sturdiest gearbox, but it's still going to perform pretty damn well with a great hop-up that can reach out to 200 feet and just, you know, even at the 150-foot target, it was hitting pretty damn well on that as well as the 100 foot target. Now that's a pro for it, it's very accurate. Another pro would be the affordability, which is the main selling point of this rifle. It's 150 to $170 wherever you look, and it's sold about everywhere. So availability, you will always be able to get one. These things are never sold out, like everywhere, you know, like let's just say a real sword is usually sold out. And on probably the third, Pro would be the amazing body that this gun has. The polymer is the best polymer I've ever seen. To be honest, the only thing I could probably see that's better is G&G's higher end polymer guns, which they are actually most likely made out of the same polymer, like let's just say the F2000, but I could be wrong because it's very reinforced, it's very sturdy, and you don't see any seams anywhere except for maybe on here, which is very, very nice, actually. Though, I can't really think of many cons about this gun. I mean, the only thing I could really think of is the plastic outer barrel, but that would be not too, you know, bad. But this gun, I'm going to be giving a 5 out of 5. Now, I'm not giving it a 5 out of 5 because... 
it's like the best performing or best internally, but for the price, you are getting a gun that can shoot well over 150 feet accurate with a decent fire rate, great hop up, great internals, and great externals. A gun doesn't have to be full metal with blowback with, that's shooting about 250 feet to be a 5 out of 5. You gotta give the gun a comparison to the other guns in its price range, and this is the best gun. For the price, really, it's better than any other gun, probably up to $250, but nevertheless, this has been the review of the GNG Combat Machine. I'll be seeing you guys later.